I think the whole idea of learning uh, needs to be looked at in a completely different way uh, that subsumes the old way of learning. It's not, you know, that word subsuming, it, it took me a while to get used to that. Uh, it, for those of you who maybe aren't native speakers or aren't mathematicians uh, and know that from set theory, it means that you don't put something old away. It's included and contained in the new way of doing things. It's subsumed. Um, in, a, in a more comprehensive order of intelligence. So, of course, you'll read a book. At least for now, our, our way as humans with those kinds of senses we currently have until we have chips all over. You know, if, if you just think of this whole room would have been filled with a computer that could add 1 plus 1 equals 2 a few decades ago. Today you have these, like, tiny devices, like in your watch or... Uh, in, in cell phones, that if, if it wasn't for the display, they could be the size of a watch, but it would be very impractical. But the processing power is so unfathomably high compared to the one plus one computer in the 40s um, that um, it, it's very obvious how we're going. But for now, our, our mode of entering data into our own uh, search engine is mostly by reading and by using our other senses. So of course that's included. You'll, you'll read a book and you'll talk to your students. But then what is, what is the underlying idea of intelligence? What is a human mind? If, if you believe that your mind is a closed system and that you need to feed it intelligence and you need to feed it knowledge that is basically incomprehensible, then you'll have a very difficult time learning. But then if you look at your own experience when you re relax deeply, you know in any moment how to respond. Now you could call that that is without learning. You know, you're in an, you're in an interaction with somebody, you don't need to learn anything about them. You don't need to learn anything about how to be. You, you just respond naturally, spontaneously, openly, always according to time, place, and circumstance. So already there you can see you don't need to learn that. You'll know moment by moment by moment on how to be. And the same is true for all knowledge. It's just that we have singled out some of that knowledge as being special knowledge. But of course, all the knowledge is already there. Where would it, where would it come from? Like uh, gravity was there before somebody discovered, wow, th there must be a force behind that because every time I drop it, the same thing happens. So they described it as gravity. But that doesn't mean that in all the centuries, millennia, and billions of years before, gravity didn't exist. So all knowledge is already present and, and we just learn to access it and to make it usable. But when, when the underlying mechanism of intelligence is clarified, then the learning just goes through the roof. And I can only share, in, like in my own experience, learning new things that I had no idea about. Um, it, it is a completely different experience. I, I remember one thing when I started uh, doing the website, we had a, a virus attack to the website. I did not know what a virus was. Well, I, you know. I heard about it, but I didn't know what it was, and somebody sent me a link and said, you need to check this page, there is a virus on there. I'm a, so I thought, all right. <laughs> and and I, I opened my HTML editor, and then I looked at the page, I looked at a couple other pages, it was just gibberish, uh, lots of numbers and symbols and, <laughs> and a little bit of text, and then, but then it was obvious, oh yeah, that this must be the virus. The, the malware, and it was. So, you know, by just, if, if you focus on all the tension in your head when you try to solve a problem, then it's a very tight space, and usually we just hop from one old solution that we've had to another. But by just relaxing the mind completely, then it is this vast expanse that is always clear and stable. We basically plug into the, the master frame you know, the, the database that already includes and contains all knowledge rather than insisting of needing to transfer knowledge into our little hard drive.
It's just a continuous flow. So the login and password are always short moments of open intelligence. You can crack any code with that login and password. And I'm sure you've seen that already just for yourself. And then to develop a training program, we'll definitely have completely different universities. You know, where learning happens in a very different way than we do today, and where the students are much more empowered than they are today in terms of contributing. And the, just the entire system is based on a wrong idea about what humans are and, and what the role are, what the role is that we all carry.